Hey guys, so um, in my previous video, if you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. It's in my drawings playlist, but my previous video was an outlining video of this drawing. I have colored in the skin and the hair, and I'm just going to get started right away and coloring all the other stuff. Um, I'm going to be using my touch markers and this mini sew color marker because it's my only black ink marker. And... I don't have a black touch marker currently. Right now, the closest I have is like a warm gray, which is a dark gray, but I usually just use the this one for black. And I'm just gonna start by kind of going over this one part that needs black. And then I think that's all I need for black. So what I'm coloring is the outline of the sports bra. I'm actually so happy that I get to film this because I haven't been doing a lot of drawing videos. If you guys have seen my, if you guys been keeping up to date with my other videos, so I'm happy that I get to do this. Um, yeah, I've just been super busy. I'm gonna use P88 for my touch markers, which is purple gray. I'm just gonna color in the rest of this sports bra. The tank top is gonna stay white. I'm gonna color in the collared shirt. I'm gonna use PB72, which is ne Napoleon Blue. It's a the darkest blue that I have to get that navy color blue that I wanted. There's no navy blue in my pack. I'm just trying not to color too close to the edges because the art markers in general just bleed everywhere and they bleed out of the outlines. So I'm just trying to have it draw it in a color in a way that it doesn't bleed too much out of the outline that I've done. So that's one side, and then I'm going to color the other side. Almost done for this side.
Okay, so now that I'm done with the um, shirt, I'm going to shade it a bit with PB70, which is royal blue. Just gonna shade whatever needs to be shaded. Just along a lot of the folds and wrinkles of the shirt. My camera keeps unfocusing. Sorry if it bothers you guys. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay, so this shirt, the collared shirt is done. Um, ooh, now I'm going to color the hat. I'm actually looking for my cap because I don't remember all of the colors. I might have left it upstairs. So let me be back for one second. I'm going to go see if I can find my hat downstairs. Okay, so after trying to find my hat, apparently I can't find it. Again, that's the second time I lost it. Yeah, there, there's so many times where I thought I had my hat and then I can't find it. Oh well, it's probably somewhere in the house because I saw it before. It's just that I can't find it now for my drawing to use as reference, but I kind of remember the colors, so I'm just going to go and try to draw it. So I'm going to use R15, wait, no, R13, which is scarlet for this part of the hat, for the cap. And then I'm going to use R15 to shade a little bit of it. And it's geranium. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I don't know. I keep misplacing that hat. It's my favorite hat, though. I normally don't like caps that much, but that one was my favorite. Um, and then... So it's actually a dark blue, but I don't really have a darker blue than the one that I used for my um, shirt. So I'm going to use it and then I'm going to put some gray on it. Okay, 
There was a pixelated skull on it, but I didn't bother to draw it because so much detail and I think the horn will cover it. The unicorn horn will cover it up too much anyways. And then I'm going to use CG6, which is a cool gray, one of the cool grays that I have. I'm going to go over it to make it a darker blue because I don't have no navy blue. That works out all right. And then I am going to color in the ears. So first, P, one second, P84. I'm trying to find these colors. P84, which is pastel violet for the inside of the ears. I labeled everything on my swatch sheet for like what I normally will use for specific parts of drawings just because I will draw like the cat ears normally and everything like that. So I'm trying to look off of there and reference everything. And then P88, which is purple gray to kind of shade it. For the unicorn horn, I'm going to have to use a first um, R16, which is coral red, for a little bit just here. And then I'm going to have to use um, P88. P17 actually, which is pastel pink. Oh my gosh. I can't open the brush tip, so I'm using the chisel side. My brother is like texting me, so I'm trying to like hurry and finish this because I cannot answer him when I'm doing videos. It's super annoying right now. I'm going to use Y44, which is fresh green, but it's actually a yellowish color. And then I need to use WG05, which is warm gray. I don't have time for this. Sometimes the brush tips won't open and then I have to use the chisel tip, which is kind of annoying. And I'm going to shade everything that's white. Also, the cross is a silver cross, cat ears, some of this band-aid stuff, oh no, let's put some shading. Okay. Sorry, I'm just rushing because my brother's like texting me. Oh, please send me my phone number. It's like, yeah, 
Why doesn't he have his own phone number? Like, I have my own phone number installed onto my device. Onto my phone so I know what it is. And then I just need to align the sparkles of magic. Pink. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm done. So here is the overview of my drawing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Check down in the description box below. All my social media is there. Go like and follow those for constant art updates and posts of different things that I have gotten. Um, process work of this will be posted, will be uploaded on there so you can see the pictures better. Um, if you're new to my channel, check out my drawings playlist. All my drawings are there. Or you can check out my hauls playlist too of stuff that I buy and do reviews on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, my next video, I don't know what I will do because I'm still working on certain drawings and stuff like that. So hopefully I have that all figured out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!